Hello everyone, hello, welcome back to more of Let's Play Kesson 2 Uncles, as always, the Black Shadow. Uh, we had a pretty um, surprisingly easy win, to be honest, folks, in the last fight over at Chen Kang here, uh, defeating Simi Yi on the uh, march towards Chang'an. Went a lot better than I thought it was going to do, for sure. Uh, so I think I've decided that Wei Xing is going to be the chronic route I'm going to take in this campaign. Although, taking Xi province um, as your route is also far from being a terrible idea. It's possibly even better um, than doing Wei Xing. Either way, I think either one of the two are reasonable. But uh, Xi province it will be today. Show me what you're made of, tough guys. Isn't that a woman? Never mind. It's time to lay out your plans. Anyone have any good ideas? What we got today, kids? The troops must eat, but transporting food to G is very difficult. So instead of carrying food, I suggest we buy it from the farmers instead. Lord Liu Bei, let us recruit more soldiers. You're going to give the people more power. When they know that, they'll come to us. They will clamor to join your cause. Thousands of them will want to join us. I say, send some troops behind enemy lines. Cut off their supplies so they have no provisions. An army that is hungry does not fight well. They will lose their will to oppose us. My lord, what would you have us do? Alrighty then. So, uh, our troop situation still the same as in the last video because that, that history doesn't exist anymore. Um, again, we're in decent shape here. Apart from the troop shape that we are behind, like, technology, we're basically even. We are a bit behind supply, however, which is unfortunate. So, we can either purchase our own supplies, recruit our own troops, or we can interfere with the enemy supply lines, which is basically, like, the opposite of this. This will give us, like, a supply boost, and that will give them a supply loss, and I think it's pretty much equal. Uh, so you can do it in either way you want. Um, I think I'm probably going to take Sun Li's for this. Although I am kind of curious to see what um, what the text line is for Fa Good. Jing. It's just... <laughs> oh, God. We have burned the transport unit that left the enemy stronghold. The enemy appears to be suffering from lack of provisions. Brutal. Brutal. Also, that's a good point. It's also the Xi army as well. It's not even Sao Sao's forces that we're taking on this one. That's a good point here. So, that probably has even less effect in this one then. You, yeah. You should you should probably be taking Sun Li then. There's no reason not to. Good. It's decided. Let's work together on this. Yes, yes sir. Good thing we have infinite money. Apparently. Our purchase of provisions went well. The farmers were happy. We paid higher than the market price, as Liu Bei instructed. Because Liu Bei has no concept of how how money works in the world. Of course. What an amazing guy he is. Roll your eyes, everyone. Roll your eyes. Xi, a land widely separated from Hanzhong. The cities have been inhabited since the Han period. And on the frontier, the Fu people actively engage in trade. Cao Cao, appealing to Kai Wengi, the Queen of Fu, asks her to engage Liu Bei and the Shu army from behind. Granting the request, Kai Wengi attacks various cities in Ji. Rude. Liu Bei leads his main unit into Ji in an attempt to protect its people. going on here <laughs> I am Kai Wang Queen of the ancient realm of Fu Is she meant to represent like Mongolians or something? There's definitely some inspiration like for sure Alive. 
Well, we're bound. So this is where you are. Uh-huh. You're thinking about Diao Chan again, aren't you? When doesn't he? Yes, I... Yes, I am. Liu Bei. Uh-huh. I know you're sad about Diao Chan. I'll help you forget. Your what? Oh, uh, God. Uh, there's a war council. Oh, Shang Shang. A messenger has come from the capital. He says Yao Chuan is dead. What? Who said so? Who? Did he see it with his own eyes? I don't know. That's just what he said. <laughs> no. Not Yao Chan. It can't be true. Let's go to the war council to help the people of Z. We must take out Kai Wengi! Li Li, we must go! I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'd have been telling Shang Zhang. I've got all, all right. night. Begin the council. We got news from our spies. The enemy will attack us on two fronts, my lord. Hmm. We don't know anything other than the fact that this unit is led by Ma Dai. I see. This um, does not sound too good here. I would like some better scouting information. I'm gonna lie. That's how it stands. If General Kai Wengi's troops are routed, victory's ours. If Liu Bei's unit is forced to flee, then we'll be defeated. I agree. Tell me what options there are. My lord, I have a plan I believe will bring success. Okay. I will use the mirage tactic on these units. Mirage? They will wander aimlessly, confused by the mirage for a good while. It should keep them from returning to the battlefield for some time. Why do you do this every damn time, then? Capitalizing on this opportunity, Lord Zhao Yun and company will take down the enemy here. Hmm. Okay. My lord, I have a different suggestion. Ma Dai is my brother. Go to persuade him, he will undoubtedly join us. Ooh. So please don't make a move against Ma Dai until I have gone to speak with him. Please decide upon a strategy, my lord. Now, this sounds like a lot of fun. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do this off screen to show what happens with the Mirage shit. That sounds awesome. But I'm pretty damn sure this is the strategy I'm taking for this one. Like, opportunity to get hold of one of the enemy's units sounds sounds pretty good to me. I think uh, I think Marchell's um, onto something here. I've made my decision to battle. Yes, yes sir. sir. Give me my frames back. All right then, so let's rock and roll here. All right, let's go check our forces here. See what our force composition is. So uh, we've got Liu Bei, Liu Bei, the Woe, the Woe. Uh, wow, look at that. They're like. Lily's war stat is like really freaking good here. Looks very nice here. Uh, we got Sun Li on the left side, um, alongside with Wang Zhong. That's a that's quite a combination. Zhang <laughs> Zhang and Wang Zhong. Yikes. Uh, Ma Chao is going to be heading up forward along with Jiang Wei to try and uh, convince his brother that uh, he's on the wrong side of this war. You get along uh, along with Ma Su. Jiyun's war stats like meh, but it's like who even cares? It doesn't matter. And Zhao Yun, uh, along with Wei Yan and Fa Zheng. Man, what a unit that is. That's a that's a hell of a combination. I'm totally okay with it. All right then, uh, Ma Chao. Um, uh, let's see what you can do, buddy. Well, something I've noticed about this fight for some reason. The um, yeah. Something about this battlefield just seems to eat at my um, at the frames of this. I don't know what it is. Die. 
me and Lu Bei, we can ruin Cow Cow. You should join. Good idea. Join the Yu Bei's forces and go. Not gonna lie, Mardai. The first time I just saw you there, I thought you might have been a woman. <laughs> there are several gender swaps in this game, to be fair, so it's like it wouldn't wouldn't have completely shot me. All right, so this is Yugi with his Mirage spell. Why we don't have this unlocked, I don't know, but apparently we don't. What in the hell is going on? It, what? <laughs> what the hell? He just freaking eat him into a ball of light! What on earth? My god! That's something out of a damn Final Fantasy game. Well, oh, there we go, folks. Victory is ours. Let's just... Not even a dust bowl, just literally consumed by the light. What the hell ever. Alright then, so, uh, that'll get Dango on our side. That is going to be very, very nice. Okay, so here is, um, or Mud, Mud I should say. Here's Dung Eye's unit here. Uh, a lot of uh, the Shi army officers are kind of a hybrid. So they'll have a mix of some uh, cap, some actual combat and some magic. Uh, the same for Mardai as well. You can look in here with uh, his horse bows. With the fireballs there. But this is basically the Shi army's entire freaking unit. is just all horses and cavalry. It's just like a, a, a Total War Commander's worst nightmare, basically. Um, of having to, like, fight just all these cavalry units and horse bows and everything, like, in a free-for-all. Oh, my God. Nasty stuff. Right, while that's going on here, we should actually... There's maybe a force coming from this side, isn't there? So we should probably... Probably look to turn our forces um, this way. Yeah. And uh, move some troops this way here, because there's meant to be a main force coming in, and I don't really want to be um, caught blindsided by that. So let's uh, start moving them across here. Um, Liu Bei, I reckon, will just uh, move him up as well as kind of like a support here. What are some of these formations people are running? Like, giant in the ring formation? What the hell are you in that for? You should 100% have, like, Owl, or maybe Dart? Oh, we're taking out. Like, why are you in the ring? It's a terrible formation for you. Um, like Juge in like Harp. I don't really. I need. To, I probably need something a bit more aggressive than that. Um, I don't need Ass, but that's a bit unnecessary. I give you like uh, Carp uh, or oh, Goose even is what I mean. I think Goose should be fairly good. It's pretty solid. Nothing too wrong with it. Certain formations do have uh, strengths against certain other formations. It doesn't make a huge appreciable difference, but it's you shouldn't be like just just uh, totally ignoring what your composition is. Some of them do just work better for different types of units here. Um, I don't even need Moon. Dome seems solid for you, actually. I might go with the Dome or... or um, Bold's also not bad, too. We'll go with Bold for you. I think that should be decent. All decent op options, though. All right, then. Let's go uh, Let's go beat the shit out of these dudes, everyone. Fire! Oh. Oh. And again, all these units have got so many horse bows. It's just like, oh, my God. Like I say, this is a... Uh, a Total War Commander's Nightmare. And he, again, as you can see, just the sheer amount of, like, the Mongolian inspirations in all these. It's pretty cool, though. I appreciate it. All right, Jiang Wei. Let's go get you some. No, I was about to do a spell. Now you're going to split the army up. Damn it. Let's go back to uh, March out here. I'm trying to make Jiang Wei better, and you're thwarting my plans. Rude. All right, then we'll do this. Maybe need to be a little bit closer again. So one thing, of course, as well, because there's so many, like, uh, bow units, is that the, um, the enemy, like, uh, squads are going to be fairly kind of tight and defensive. Get a little closer here. That'll be fine. 
which may benefit some certain strategies, but also weaken some others. The AI is not going to want to just descend every single squad, because they'd rather kind of have some dudes down back and waiting, just to just shoot their head out of you, basically. Yeah, John Wage is good. That's the one problem with Jiang Wei. Like, he's got some really cool stuff that he can do, but it's so hard to get him the experience to, like, be able to do it well, which is the problem. It's a it's a great shame. It's a great shame. Yeah, all like these uh, these bogeys that you just yeah you know, we gonna just look to pick them off in the distance. All right then, uh, that should be fine here. Dung Eye's gonna struggle here, so let's take some of these units and see if we can't find um. It's amazing. Ah, here we go. All right, those are in business. They are coming. All right. Wow, Kabuji's coming to serve. Okay then. Let's have a looky here. Yeah, see Mongolian horses. Great all around characters, Kabuji. So we got Iron Wall here, Fireball, Gale, Fisher. Jeez, that is, uh, that's kind of nasty. Um, should probably have you, like, turn a little bit here. Right, let's, um, sort out these, uh, units where they're going. You go there. We'll get Xiao Yun going a little bit more, like, across here, I reckon. And then Liu Bei can kind of come in slightly... No. When are you coming in, like, behind? Like, there? That should be fairly good. All right then, that'll be fine. Uh, let's actually go back to March out here while that's all sorting itself out here. Um, I am just start sending some units in. Let's get going. Yeah, so these are Kai Wenji. We we know that. Why are you telling me that multiple times? The hell? We got. going on here? What is this? How are there more Paul Kaiwenjis here? What the hell is going on? This is bad. Okay, right. We got um, we've uh, we got a change of plans here. Oh god. Right, you guys need to just like look to get stuck in here super quick. What the hell is going on? What sorcery is this? And of course, they're all freaking cavalry units as well, so they're going to do just unbelievable amounts of damage here. Yeah, loads of them are just going to sit back and just shoot the hell out of me, and it's going to hurt. Right, we need to get charging and charging pretty quick here with, uh, with suddenly, I reckon. Here come the bows. Wong Zhong's unit's going to get dragged into the combat. He's not going to be able to do any damn bow stuff. My frames! My lovely frames! Right, let's hit that bow unit down the back as well. I want a piece of them too. That's the whole point. There we go. Very nice. That'll do some decent damage. Not as much as perhaps I might like. Ah, it's still pretty good though. Alright, nice job. I think she got a strength upgrade as well. Man. There is some, uh, there's some definite magic nonsense going on here, without question. He's very rude. Get them. I do love how somehow, in the midst of seeing some of the places we fought in this game, you know, in mountains, on in forests, on boats, during the night. That for some reason, fighting here in a desert wasteland is apparently too difficult. I don't understand things sometimes, folks. That's obvious. The mysterious ways of Kessin 2 is just occasionally it's beyond me. I blame Kai Wenji. Don't know where Lee Bay thinks he's going. Uh, right. I think you just um. Just hold your position, actually, and we'll kind of see how things go. Worst of the worst, I could retreat suddenly southward if that starts going dicey. 
And these are some big units as well. However, we do have, like, the glutton of, of the, just magic and pain and misery. Uh, that is you gave me on. Well, but this is what you will notice when we get to the way campaign later on, is the fact that Wei don't really have anyone quite as singularly powerful as Yuge Liang. But what Wei at least does have is uh, various people. Uh, yeah, you're not going to be close enough unless I start sending you in, which I don't really want to do right now. A lot of it that they, they do have, though, is um, some people that are... Uh, you've got more options, you know, between Simi Yi's, your Guo Jia's, your Shun Yu's. Um, there's more examples we have as well. Of, um, of, of you know, of these uh, these generals with, like, decent magic. But there's no one like you get the on, anyway. Unless you change, cha um, sort of train someone to be that fucking good. Which can definitely be done. Don't get me wrong. Oh my god. This is going to be very painful. Yeah. That guy on the right there, go through this guy, he was the lucky one. State of carnage here. There's bodies everywhere. Brutality. Fatality. We definitely have numbers of items though, so we've got to be using our skills here. Definitely for sure. Right, let's see what we can uh, we can do here. Far Zheng's going to be next, I reckon. Uh, I think Meteor showering uh, both of these uh, back um, bow units is going to be a good idea. We'll go ahead and look to try and make full use of this. That's not a good spot. Let's go like here, I reckon. This looks nicer. There we go. Well, I was about to say, one thing the AI always never do as well is use Iron Wall to protect themselves, but here you go. Actually, you get to see it, like, live, huh? I mean, all the generals do have it. Damn it, poor Fal Sheng. He's done it so rough in this series. He's had, like, a, a, he's had a meteor. He's had, officially speaking, there's now the two worst meteor showers of the game, doing precisely 12 damage and zero. Poor guy. He has my sympathies. Nice to see the AI actually using Iron Wall. That's pretty cool. And the thing is, as I was mentioned, like it's a it's a really good way to get your generals like um, early on, increasing their their magic ability. The problem is, is that um, at least in the, the first shoot campaign. Oh dear! I can't defend against this. Oh my god! <laughs> Well, she's lost her mind. She's coming for me. Those Mongolian winds, apparently, are about to eat me up. Oh, dear. Oh, that's painful. Good grief. Oh, Xiao Yun. We, we, we gotta fix this. It's just men just sent everywhere. Yikes. Oh, my guys are just in a line as well. Just been eaten up by that attack. Ow. Oh, in the distance. How bad was that? Holy mother of God. Holy shit. Oh, Xiao Yun, we have. We got problems, buddy. We gotta. We gotta fix this. Justice is on our side. 
as I speak really slowly, like I've had one of a Zhang Fei was drinking the other day. Man, we gotta get our dudes sorted. The rally will help with our morale, but we are... Man, that was disgustingly powerful. Fucking... Hi, Wenji, man. I'm trying to just get my troops sorted. I may have to go for a duel. I think I have to throw this out and try and see if she'll take it. I don't know if she will. She might think she's got it won. Damn. I don't enjoy barbaric. Oh, God. As you can see, though, she's a very powerful general in this game. She's one of the most, probably one of the most, uh, one, definitely one of the more powerful generals going. Man, she did some damage. I'm just trying to get my troops sorted out here. I might have to just raid. I'm going to have to throw everything here. Move it or I'll end your miserable life. Oh, Zhou Yun got caught in a, in a stuck animation. Oh, man. There were just shoe bodies everywhere. This is absolutely hideous. There we go. That'll do. Better. Man, I think I have to pull Xiao Yu to bay here. I think I have no choice. We have to retreat. <laughs> We've been brutalized on this front. Yeah, get the hell out of there. Pull back to the storehouse, buddy. Like, your work here is done. Dung eyes remaining stubborn on this front. Let's see if I can drag him into a tool perhaps here. That'd be a bad idea. See if he takes it or not. He might, he might not. Dismount! I'd rather die in the saddle. No. You're silly. It's not a game. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I think you're fine. This series is called Kessin 2. I'm both personally and professionally insulted by you. I feel I hope you feel bad. Uh no no, I want Jen right here. Nah, I'm still reeling from Ash, we probably don't need this. I'm fucking reeling from that attack. It was ungodly bad. Okay, Li Bei, we need to actually take control of Li Bei's unit here for a moment. Oh my god. Firestorms as well. Wow, she's just throwing skills at us, folks. She's hitting us hard. My frames are going to the graves. Just like Zhao Yun's units have done. It's been very horrible and tragic. Right, let's get Liu Bei. She's going to have to go in here. Yeah, Ma Zhao Yun's got to go home. Like His, his unit is toast. It's done. Man, this is not going well. We're, we are taking massive casualties here. We gotta do something about this. Oh no, now we're getting caught in a... Oh shit. Uh, we don't even have any officers on this front. I, I don't. Wow, this is going badly. Jugate, we gotta, we gotta make shit happen here, buddy. I'm going to need your, your power. Okay, there we go. Um, Li Bei's unit's gotten on the other side. Back to full strength here. My, my army's still all over the place, though. Confusion wrapping around. I'm trying to get out of here so I can use some spells. Enormous casualties. Hey, Kai Wenji. Let's see how you like a piece of this. You know, I have memories of this fight being easy for this. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I mean, the damage is brutal, but, like, we're still, like, trying to recover here. 
Okay, I think our units have, uh, have probably calmed down. I think I'm throwing lightning at it as well. I gotta, I gotta throw everything here. I'm getting crushed in the center. Be fair, you got someone like Zhuge Liang in this game. You should make him full use of his powers. There's no reason not to. Here we go. Rip through the damn, uh, through the lines. Nasty. Right. I think, I think this front's been recovered. That's only because it's Yuge Leon. It's the only reason. Man, this has been nasty. Man, the world of Oji has just been brought immediately into the fight. Like, what in the hell is going on here? Not even an opportunity to kind of uh, do anything. Right, I guess we're going to rush down the central line here. This is one of the advantages of having like a support unit at least, which is good. Nine Lee Bay King Yo can come in and replace the Ma Chao uh, for, for Xiao Yun, though. Man, that was hideous. Wasn't too bad. It was pretty decent, uh, pretty decent combat there. It will have to do. All right then. So she won't be volleying here. That's fine. Okay. So Xiao Yun, uh, let's just get you like, get you a bit closer to here, so you can just try and recover. I don't think you can recover troops. At least recover his, his tactics, which is better than nothing. All right. Time for some volleys, I reckon. Well, apparently we're losing all the voice lines at the moment. But it turns out when a game is struggling to get through all its frames, you start losing, um, you start losing things. Unsurprising. Man, this is a, this is an absolute slugfest on the sand here. Just taking enormous chunks out of each other. It's been brutal. All right, then what I reckon we're gonna do here as well is, well, he's dead. Oh, for God damn it! Of course he would be. Is I reckon what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try and drag some of these other cavalry units into some combat here. So what we're gonna do is, and this is something you can do, and it sometimes works. Oh no. Uh, yeah. I got Iron Wall. I have no reason not to use this. This sure is brutal. Look at these spells just being sent away. Oh. Yeah, look at that. He's trying to just rip through our center there. Rip through uh, Wong Jong's unit. We've got Fisher to protect, um, Iron Wall to protect here. Don't often, you don't often like see Iron Wall actually being used, so it's pretty cool to show it off like twice in the same fight. Pretty nice. Yes, yes, we got the point. We're ready, we're protected. We'd like to please, you know, put it right. I mean, look, we've done enough damage to this world, the whole new bay to find the mandate of heaven, causing like these locust wards and shit, earthquakes, storms. We do not need to anger him further. All right. Anyways, at least that's protected against. It. That's good. Yikes! That could have been really bad. There we go. Wong Zhong spell, but he's increased again. It's a really nice way of improving early game sp um, spell uh, efficiency for units. The problem is, is that you know, in the, again, in Liu Bei's his first campaign, you just the enemy just don't use spells very often because it's you know the introduction beginner thing. By this point, they're starting to bring in. Once you get the Cow Cagans campaign, they definitely will. Like, oh my goodness. But yeah, what you can do sometimes, you can do this and, like, charge into the enemy, and you end up, like, actually drawing the unit into actual combat because, like, your troops are already here. They can't really shoot properly because, like, you're already here. Sometimes it works. And it just stops them from shooting at you with all the bows and everything. Chinese using fireballs. What the hell is going on on that front? 
Apparently Dung Eyes is not going down without a fight. Fair play to him. Alright. Let's uh, Shen Xiao Yun. Uh, let's turn him around here. Just in case. Just to keep an eye on. I don't know what else is going to go in here with this freaking mystic bullshit. Shenanigans are recurring, that's for sure. Meanwhile, some pain here as well. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Yay! Hooray! Mm. Needs more dancing. We'll take them round, though. That'll be of definite, uh, definite use. Yeah, they use morbid. There's been spells going left, right, and center in this fight. It's been brutal. Uh, looks like I think. I mean, both these units have just been absolutely decimated by magic spells. Uh, Master, I think I need to get you in here, buddy. Try and just overwhelm with numbers here. I think it's going to be the plan. We'll send them in. Battlefield is just it's just it's just a mess. Some probable friendly fire there. Get a Masu! Oh god darn it. Another iron wall. That's an awesome look there, by the way. Everyone's just eyeballing everything. This is very, very unfortunate. Poor Marsu Mas as well, of all uses. It's very sad. You get the Ongs unit as at its been hit so hard as well. Man. I don't actually know if Gales would be of much use here. So I, think, I think things are probably okay here. But I will probably have to pull Zhuge as well back. Like, it's, man, it's been painful. All right, Dong Eye's nearly beaten. This is good. Uh, right. Let's start probably getting something with, with uh, Liu Bei here. I might go for some, um, some battle cry here, I reckon. Oh, for the love of God. My cavalry cannot be defeated. We have lost. Everyone withdraw. I do kind of wish with this game that when, like, the enemy used this, was, I, I can't, again, I understand why they don't. Because they've been teleporting around everywhere, but I think one of the things in this game of Kessin. I mean, one of the, the big things in this game is that it's it's a spectacle, you know, what's going on. That's what this is. It's an absolute spectacle. Um, and it's carnage. And it's kind of a shame that, um, you know, uh, like, you, you all these spells, unless you're in the fight, you don't get to see them. It's kind of sad. Okay, anyway, so I think what we're going to do here. I'm going to start looking to get him from the side. So Marshall's going to probably look to flank this unit here. I'm going to send Mardai out into the depths and see what more nonsense is going on. Like, this is a fairly sizable battlefield, and like, we're not using any of it. Certainly these unit, by the way, also getting hit very hard. We are winning officially, but, like, depends on what you define as officially. This has been a slugfest. Trying to get a unit sorted out here. Slam the bat button. Try and uh, restore some um, some sanity to our dudes. Fire! <laughs> there we go. Use those horse bows, everyone. Them Mongolian horses. All right, okay, we, we've recovered on this side. This is good. We got the charge. We should uh, definitely be making use out of it. Let me get a little closer. I want to hit the uh, I want to hit the back unit. Wong Jun's got his volley back. That's uh, that's good. See, just the bows just coming across there. Right, that should that should probably hit them on the tail end of the attack. Charge him! This is how it's done. There we go. 
That's something you do notice with some tactics is that the actual range of them sometimes is totally different to what it says. Like with this one here, you can see that the the um, it goes a lot further than it shows. It's just a guide, you know. There we go. That's not fair. We're uh, we're looking a lot better now. And again, this has been rather pyrrhic on this side. Get them! It's just been huge losses. I'm just saying, if this was like literal, like how this had gone, I don't think this campaign against G would have been worth it. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure Sales would be happy with the results, though. That half army just been murdered. Just succumb to the um, succumb to the sand here, the wastes, just eating up. The sorcery and. All sorts of shenanigans. Okay, I think we've got this one one down here. That was a, that was a painful uh, volley. That was, that was good stuff. Man, it's been... It has been vicious. Okay. Um, I think we might set in Mardai down here. There might be something else going on. I don't really remember, to be brutally honest. I have little little memories of this situation. Uh, we'll keep Jerry in there just in case something suspicious is going to happen. This is very possible. Uh, I mean, like, something like New Bay's unit should be getting some benefit from the storehouse. It's not a million miles away. Yeah, Luolo's getting uh, some stuff back here, which is good. I think you've still got your rally, don't you? Yeah, and the Iron Wall. I mean, New Bay's unit is really good for this fight as well. We've got two Iron Wounds on this unit. That's um, significant. Here comes Machao's unit. Probably, I'm probably going to use this here. There's no reason not to. Uh, we're just going to send them all in here. Yeah, just send, just send them all in. There's no need to be shooting around. Just, just crush them. Just crush them. Yeah, so he's nearly got that one. One. How is this battle not one yet on this front here? I thought we had I thought this was over. Apparently not. Apparently, I have this. This fight is not yet won, so we're gonna have to uh, give them a taste of their own medicine here. By the looks of it, this could be this could be nasty. There will be chaos. It won't be as bad as that. I mean, like it won't be as brutal as Skyrim just one of us. It's not like six, seven thousand troops out of this out of unit. Or Xiao Yun's unit. Kidding us. Kale doesn't. Quickly becoming my favorite spell. Ice Storm's awesome, but you don't really see much Ice Storm. I don't really anyone on the shoot get up. The shoot's forces have Ice Storm. Uh, it's mainly a uh, away thing. Um, a couple of officers have Ice Storm too. Lu Xun has it. Uh, Lu Meng, I think, has it too. If memory serves. I know Lu Xun does. But like like uh, Luke Shun, Shun Yu are two main ones. I think Guo has got it as well. That was pretty good. There we go. That was a that was a meaty blow. Jesus. So so hideous this fight. <laughs> I cannot believe how how painful it's been. I mean, at least we're winning, but like still. Uh, actually, we are going to do it. I think it's fine. Man of the hour here. There we go. We're getting them routed now. Everyone! Fight with honor! Is there anything Liu Bei really needs? is a like an aggressive attack i think he gets like a rush or something um like is his last thing he gets i could be wrong i'd have to look into it here we go now then they were easier than i thought they were today something was wrong i just wasn't feeling very well <laughs> right that's what it was the 
Kai Wengi we defeated was a fake. Yeah, of course it was. It clearly, yeah, clearly the sorcery from here. Very, very clearly. Makes sense. All right then. Um, seeing anything down here? A bit of further in front. We'll send Mardai down. Um, I guess we'll send Mutsumi as. Now nah, we'll get uh we'll get Sunni to help finish this unit off here. We'll get Mar do some scouting. Like clearly, like these aren't real. So the question now is, where the hell is the real one? Well, I'd like to know. Right. Uh, we can do some raiding here. Although again, the units are so split. There's not really any anything to do. Is the problem. Also, good luck trying to tell. I think the only way you can tell who's who is, like, um, the color of their hats. That's about it. Then saying that would be even worse for, like, the whole Mardai situation. Like, they all look exactly the same. Lily's getting a rush back. This is good. This is very, very good. Alright. We'll do what damage we can with March out, like, a raid or something. But I don't really know... Not too sure what else he's what he's gonna be able to do. But more are we able to see the damn units. I'll brand your hide with Machow. We'll do what we can here. So we're looking for guys with with funny looking hats. Okay. Man, I can't. I can't. I literally can't tell you two. Uh, we're looking for purple hats. You're a purple hat. Purple hats. <laughs> it. That's all you've got. I've probably done as much friendly fire in theory as I did to hit them. No damage! Yeah! Spectacular raid! Super effective. That makes me very, very sad. I mean, there's just, there's just no units here. Like, the, the, all the enemy here on this side are just basically dead, so... That's what's going on. Looks like we're going to uh, probably get this front here. It's also worth noting, Mardai has not found anything down there. Nothing at all. What's going on here? Well, that one's over. The Kaiwengi we defeated was a fake. Clearly. The Kaiwengi we defeated was a fake. Oh, the other one's been beaten too. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, okay, so it works. Now let's show them how tough we can really be and get our revenge. Oh God. Guys, turn around now. Cause they're coming. And we're probably going to die. Oh my God, my forces are so spent. Marty's over here. Oh no. A disaster! Oh, Xiao Yun's here with like 2,000 dudes! Oh my god. Right, Zhu Gei and Sun Li can do something, but they need to like. go recover! Am I gonna have to send Xiao Yun. Oh my. I have to send Xiao Yun here to stall! My forces aren't even anywhere near! Oh my god. There's no one left! Oh, Sue's learned fireball. Good job, buddy. Oh, my God. Let's have a look. Okay, I think this could be the real one here. Oh, she's got raids. Well, it's, I suppose that's good. There's no one left to raid here. Good luck, Xiao Yun. You're gonna need it. This is... This is probably not gonna go well. I mean, I'm glad I kept some unit back here as, like, just in case, but yikes. <laughs> just instantly dies. <laughs> I think he may have had a heart attack. That's the only thing I can assume has happened there. I think a fire... I think a heart attack was had there by that dude. And you know I don't blame him. I don't blame him. You know what? Well, we didn't know. You'd think Farge was on their side. Almost.
Get him! Do what you can! Hit them as hard as possible before this unit just gets overwhelmed and annihilated. It's the best we got. Alright, Xiao Yun, you've got a... What well, you got? Raid? you got a rally. <laughs> There's no one to rally! The forces, the support's coming, but it's gonna take a while. Is the problem? Oh, yikes! Now remember that this fight started of. 18,000 versus 2,000. Remember this, folks. Remember this. Oh, that's a shame. That's not the best aimed uh, shot that I've ever had in my life. Some good shrapnel hits there, though. That could have been better. That could have been better. Jayun's getting something back. Right, I need to just... Right, okay. Uh, you, go that side. Li Bei gets stuck in immediately. Now. Because Jayun's getting... Oh, my God. Hold the line, men. Hold the line. Need no choice. Justice is on our side. We shall not fail. Far Zhang just defending Zhao Yun with his life. Oh, it stopped me getting the raid back because I used the skill? What? Oh no, I didn't know that's how it happened. It's like increased its cooldown. Oh no, I should have kept the raid. Uh, I think I have to pull back. I think I have to pull out. I got no choice. We've got less than a thousand men here. We have to retreat. This is this is suicide. All right, you hit hit them there. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. This is this is not gonna happen. Just just run, run for it. Uh, suddenly we'll probably move in as well. Uh, Ma Dai is getting across gradually. It was a noble effort from Xiao Yun. A noble, noble effort. Oh my god, I can't get in. Chaoyun's units in the way! Run, you idiots! There we go, they're getting out of there. Fire! Oh. Shooting them from behind, that works. Alright! Very nice. Let's go get a piece of them. There we are. All kinds of surrounding and fun here. Now we can start volleying as well. Now that we've got access. Oh, we actually not close up the volley? Are you kidding me? You can't actually volley them. They're too far away. What? What even is this game? Get over here. We're gonna look to raid these confused units. Take advantage. Seems a good idea to me. Well, they're not confused anymore. Ah, shit. I thought they would be. But it means I can actually look to uh, volume now, so I guess that is an advantage. Charge! Follow me! It <laughs> gets me every time! But uh, follow me. It's me every every time. Oh, some new stragglers. Oh, still some decent hits there though. It wasn't bad. Lee Lee, you were turning 
Your father would be so proud of you. I swear to God. So, so proud of you. Alright. Let's try and get this, uh, get this all, get this, get this one with. This has been not as smooth sailing as uh, one would like. So where the hell am I going? I don't know. Just a load of random units just gotten about here. This is not going to make my magic very effective, from there. It's only level 1 too. This might be not worth it. It can't be any worse than Martial's raid, right? Well, at least it finished well. That was a decent, decent end hit, so I can't feel too disappointed by that. See, I know, yeah, so this one it doesn't even have Iron Wall. This is just, uh, just brutality on all fronts here. Look at him go here, Jiang Wei. Just, like, just swiveling there. Impressive. Alright, I think we just send, uh, send, send the dudes in here. Just throw numbers at them. Right. If you can find a way, Mardai, to attack Kai Wenji's unit, then go for it. Send Sun Li's unit as well, but just surround it from all sides and just just get this over and done with. Well, I, I give her definite credit for... I, I Yeah. I was looking... This fight was looking awkward at one point. Dismount. Again, I don't expect him to take this. I think maybe the games are programmed just like uh, if they're the general. These You'll see soon enough. Just oh, she's going for it! Oh my god! Uh. Holy hell! Look at this! I told you there were some cool dual animations in this game. Round three. Ooh. Lucky hit. Very lucky. <laughs> Damn it. That was very cool. This is the mark of a true general. I think some of the most amazing duels, though, are when it's, like, uh, two female generals both using swords. Like, there's some amazing... It's, it's so hard to get it, though. That's why I want to get, like, Sun Li um, doing dueling, for example. Because um, she can be really, really good at that. We'll probably just do the march out here. Sun yeah, is very, very strong at uh, dueling when you eventually get it. Obviously, Mei San Yang can be really good at it as well. The problem is that with Yang yeah, and with, with Shang Zhang, you've got to you've got to unlock it. She doesn't start with it, but she gets it later on. Holy hell! Look at that man's eyes. Did you see how big his eyes were? Though? It was just like coming out on stilts. They thought he was down at like the uh, at the pictures or something. Oh my God. Enormous. Anyways, I think this one is uh this one looks pretty pretty over here. Suddenly trying to get in from uh, that side as well. Yeah, this one looks pretty over. It's been a cool fight this. I've I've, I've definitely enjoyed this battle. It's been pretty awesome. There you go, some of these units as well. Don't often get this chance when you like you're attacking the suit from three different fronts here and just spreads their numbers like crazy thin. Do not get this often. Fire! Oh. Wow, Ma dies shooting as well. Yeah, this unit, this unit is uh, this unit is hosed. Good, those fakes absolutely crushed me. 
and it was not fun. This is how it's done. There we go, good stuff. It wasn't too bad, considering I couldn't actually hit very much there. That's pretty decent. I'm just going to get his iron wall back as well. Alright, I think that's uh, that is all she wrote, folks. This one is. This one is over. I'm trying to find some enemy to hit, I can't even see him. <laughs> There's nothing left. The enemy general has been defeated! We've won! Thank goodness. That was. That was a uh, was a painful fight. Doing that on expert. Oh, don't think about that. With this hand, I will create a new world. With the victory we have claimed in this battle, our army has finally gained the upper hand. Well, we'll take the win. That was good times. Now, one of the main reasons that you want to do this fight is this. Let me get through some advancements. Guess who comes to join? My lord, I present to you Kai Wengi. Lord Liu Bei. It is your intention to fight the Mandate of Heaven. So then, I will join my strength together with yours. So yeah, Kai Wenji will join your forces. She's awesome. As you saw, she is incredibly, incredibly powerful. To pass her up is probably not the most optimal decision to make in this game. But I wanted to get the reward from uh, taking on Wei Xing. Um, so we'll uh, we'll get into that in the next video, folks. Should also be noted as well in this in the Wei campaign, you can also get Kai Wenji in um, in the Wei campaign, and that's what I'll be doing. Is I'll be I'll be getting her in that one instead of this, which is understandable, you know. I think that's reasonable. Right then, uh, so that's all the video. So as always, I thank you for watching through the carnage. Uh, next time, uh, yeah, we head to Wei Xing for the like, actual canonical route. Um, and then it will be a straight run to the end of the uh, end of the game, folks. There's not many fights left. Um, so we'll be looking forward to it. Take care, everyone. I'll see you then.